welcome back to part two of the emulator tutorial. Uh, I promised that we'd uh, use a piece of software called Factory Talk View Studio. And we're going to use Machine Edition. Uh, first thing you want to do if you have it is go ahead and open up your Factory Talk View Machine Edition. Uh, come up to when it loads, should open you up to either existing or new. We're going to need a new one for this. Uh, we're going to create a new project called Tutorial. Um, we'll name this number part two to match with the video. Give it a description. Uh, we can give it today's day just to keep things under date. Uh, then we hit create. It'll go through and it's gonna go ahead and build your project for you. It's gonna list everything over in your explorer or your tree. And keep everything grouped nice and tight. First thing you're going to want to do is we'll go to project settings and make sure that we're set. We are we're set for 700, uh, 1000. Um, I usually build against this. Most uh, applications are for this. A lot of machines use like to utilize the 600. Uh, when I build things, I go with the 1000. I mean, bigger is better, right? So everything looks good there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go down and we'll let's first let's communicate let's get some communication set up. So we'll go down clear down to RS links. Uh, double click on communication setup. We want to create a new configuration. Make sure it's checked. Hit finish. Loads up the communication screen. We have a device shortcut uh, and then you have your local uh, machine which is RS Links Enterprise. It's another part of RS Links, just a different format. What we want to do is we want to add our PLC, if you remember correctly. In the first one, we called the PLC Tutorial. That was the name of the project. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add Tutorial. We're going to go over here to our backplane. Because if you pull up RS Links, you'll remember that um, our virtual backplane chassis. So we'll use the backplane. Uh, right here 1789A17 now this may or may not auto populate it didn't auto populate that's fine we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a device the device we're gonna add is going to be the emulator it's the 1756 control logix 55 X emulator go ahead and open it up in the last tutorial we were using version 20 so we're gonna go ahead and use the emulator for, with major revision of 20 remember correctly we have a slot 2 to verify if you haven't already you can start up your emulator and it should auto generate and pull up and then it, you'll see that the emulator is in slot 2 of this uh, chassis we set the chassis up for 10 uh, and then it comes to 16 so select slot 2 hit OK now that you have the emulator in there your tutorial emulator both highlighted click apply and then it'll tell you that you made the following changes to the shortcut tutorial the old design we didn't have one and now we have a new one and it's emulator so everything's good yes we can verify that's okay application goes through local host it was a sign no path runtime device is assigned the runtime is where you would save this file if we were going to go ahead and run it using uh, the emulator of uh, Factory Talk uh, Views Machine Edition, and we'll get back. We'll get into that later when we go into Factory Talk View. But I wanted to show you that it is possible to hook up your Factory Talk View to your emulator and make both parts as you're doing it. Uh, save some time later down the road. We already verified it. Click OK. And it's saved. So we're going to do simple. If you remember uh, correctly, I already opened up our Logix 500, opened up our tutorial, and then I went ahead and went and turned it into, uh, went online and turned it to run. I'm going to start push button, and then we have an output for our motor. We're going to go ahead and go back to Factory Talk View Studio. We're going to go to uh, the folder named graphics and then we're going to select the first one and expand it which is displays it auto generates four for you it gives you a main out the door alarm diagnostics information and then main 
uh, if you want to add a second window, right click, new. Uh, but we're, we don't, for this tutorial, we're only going to need the first screen. What we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to want to use one button to basically turn on or off um, our input to start our pump. So we'll want to get a maintain button. Open her up. And then we can go ahead and we'll go to the states. First day off. So I think that uh, the back color should be red. That's our, or excuse me, it should be uh, green because we, we want the signal to press the green to start it. Uh, the caption could be start, uh, push button, and then state one. If we are if we select it while this is enabled, we will stop uh, the pump from running. So this would be your stop push button. I know sometimes doing this, I'm maybe talking a little too fast. I'm not slow enough. Um, those are all good comments to leave me, uh, and the in our feedback for the video but I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply I went I, I selected the wrong one that's my fault um, we want to do the back color you can, there's a place where you can select uh, in here for it not to use the border doesn't use the color um, like I said we'll get back into those later looks good to me Go back to states. We have to go back to the first one because no, I did the back color right one on that one, which is fine. Go to connections. Uh, I want to change color. The caption color to black so you can see it better. Apply. All right, now we go to connections. Value is uh, what we want. We want to reference the tag to this button. So we'll go ahead and open it up. This brings up a folder, and this is your communication file. Right now, there's only the system in here, but if you select on tutorial part two, you right click, you hit refresh all folders. It may take just a second. And here we are. There's your shortcut to tutorial. Now, if you expand this list, you have diagnostics items and you have online. We are online, and we did not set up an offline folder for the tags so we're gonna go ahead and click online you can open this up and give you your your main program anything that you would have uh, down the road uh, when you add things to your program tags it, it, it would display below it but we're gonna go ahead and select online and we want the start push button we're gonna go ahead and select OK and I went ahead and put it in here the first part of this is this is your device shortcut the second part is your tag name, in case you wanted to know. Hit apply, hit OK. Basically, uh, that's all we have. What I like to do, um, not required, but I don't like to have a, a one second tag update rate. I usually keep it at, a, at 500 milliseconds or a half second. I'm going to hit apply. It doesn't take effect until it's reopened, that's fine. We hit OK. We're going to go ahead and save what we have here. I'll close it. We'll do what it says. Open it back up and we're good. And now because we did set up communication, say we were online, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to minimize this. We're well, not minimize, I'm going to shrink the window so we can see it. Uh, up here is your hide the explorer window. We're going to go ahead and close it. We don't, we don't need it at this point. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you that we are connected with the program and that it will work to run um, your tag. Again we're online in green. Go ahead and hit let the play button. This goes ahead and lets anything in this uh, group uh, run active, populate if you're on displays, showing uh, timers, numbers, whatever that may be. Whatever you have. It, it, it should right now should be con connected with the PLC or emulator in this case. And if we go ahead and press start we should see the start push button update change its value from 0 to 1 and we should see the pump or motor pump 1 turn on motor 1 tag and it did as you see it, it come on we can stop it 
we even start it? Stop. Start. Now we're having fun, right? <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you that you could do that. Um, and in the next tutorial, um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to work with timers. We're going to work with setting uh, presets from uh, your factory talk view HMI and uh, go from there. Again, thank you for watching. Feel free to leave comments, uh, anything I could improve, anything you didn't like, things you want, go ahead and leave those and uh, I'd appreciate it. Again, I'm new to doing tutorials and I appreciate you watching and taking the time to learn.